This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next one is problem. Okay, so here at 25 degree Celsius and 760 millimeter of Hg, uh, pressure a uh, gas occupies a 600 milliliter volume. What will be its pressure at a height where temperature is 10 degrees Celsius and volume of the gas is 640 milliliter? So here the given P1 is equal to 760 millimeter Hg. Next is V1 is equal to 600 milliliter. T1 is equal to 25 plus 273. You are converting from degree Celsius to Kelvin. Okay, that is 298 Kelvin. V2 is equal to 640 milliliter and T2 is equal to 10 plus 273 is equal to 283 Kelvin. And according to combined gas law, we know that combined gas law P1 V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2. P2 is equal to P1 V1 into T2 divided by T1 into V2. Then you are substituting P2 is equal to 760 millimeter H. What is V1? Is 600 milliliter and this is uh, 283 Kelvin. Okay. And uh, you should know what is T1 and V2. This is uh, 640 milliliter. That is V2. Okay. And this is. Uh, 298 Kelvin and the answer is 676.6 millimeter Hg. So next concept is density and molar mass of a gaseous substance. So consider here the ideal gas equation that can be rearranged. The ideal gas equation can be rearranged as uh, n by v is equal to p divided by rt replacing n here replace n by small m divided by m okay so now we can get that n is replacing by m by m means m divided by m into v is equal to p divided by rt and we know that m by v is equal to d this is m by v is equal to d so remaining is m okay p divided by rt on rearranging this one uh, where d is density we know this as a density okay so we can get the relationship for calculating the molar mass of a gas. Can we calculate from this molar mass of a gas? From this, we can calculate molar mass of a gas. DRT divided by P. So, this is we can calculate the density also and molar mass of a gaseous substance also. Okay. Next. Next is Dalton's law of partial pressures. The, the this law was formulated by John Dalton in eighteen not one. Okay, so it states that the total pressure exerted by the mixture of non-reactive gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of individual gases. It means sir, the pressure which these gas would exert if they were enclosed separately in the same volume and under the same conditions of temperature. In a mixture of gases, the pressure exerted by the individual gas is called partial pressure. Okay, what do you mean by partial pressure? What well, individual gases exerting the pressure that is that is known as partial pressure. Okay. 
should know individual gases exerting pressure so according to this p total is equal to individual gas exerting that is sum p1 p2 plus p3 these are the individual gases okay so that is at constant t and v where p total is the total pressure exerted by the mixture of gases and p1 p2 p3 etc are the partial pressure of a gases so gases are generally uh, collected over water and therefore are moist pressure are dry pressure of dry gas can be calculated by subtracting the dry gas pressure that by subtracting the vapor pressure of the water okay vapor pressure of the water from the total pressure of the moist gas which contains the water vapor also pressure exerted by saturated water vapor is called aqueous tension what do you mean by aqueous tension pressure exerted by pressure exerted by saturated water vapor it is called aqueous tension that is we can calculate the p dry gas next that is pressure of the dry gas then uh, i will tell you partial pressure in terms of mole fraction partial pressure in terms of mole fraction Suppose a temperature T, three gases enclosed in volume V exert partial pressure P1, P2, and P3 respectively. Suppose at temperature T, okay, three gases ex enclosed in the volume, they are enclosed in the volume v exert partial pressure p1 p2 and p3 respectively p1 p2 and p3 then we can write p1 is equal to p1 into rt divided by v then P2 is equal to M2 into RT divided by V. P3 is equal to M3 into RT divided by V. Where N1, N2 and N3 are number of moles of these gases. Then the, tot the expression of total pressure, we can write the total pressure that is of p total is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 so we know this the value of p1 p2 p3 n1 r into t by v plus m2 m3 r into t by v okay next P total is equal to we can uh, just uh, take uh, take out we can take the common RT by V N1 plus N2 plus N3 remaining and on dividing P1 by P total so this is the P total equation 4 right okay in this 
this is equation 1 this is equation 2 this is equation 3 so equation 1 divide equation divide p1 by p total we get p1 divided by 1 p total so that you are getting n1 divided by n plus n2 plus n3 and this is uh, rtp divided by 1 rt1 so this one this one cancels then remaining is n1 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 so you can write n1 divided by n and you can write it as x1 that is p1 divided by p total okay and where n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 n is equal to n2 plus n3 and x1 is called the mole fraction of the first gas so x1 is equal to mole fraction of first gas next thus p1 is equal to x1 into p total similarly for other two gases we can write so similarly you can write p2 is equal to x2 into p total p3 is equal to x3 into p total so thus in general we can write p1 is equal pi is equal to xi into p total where uh, pi and xi are partial pressure and mole fraction of uh, Mole fraction of ith gas. Respectively. So, if the total pressure of a mixture of gases is known, the equation can be used to find out the pressure exerted by individual gases. So, this is about the partial pressure in terms of the mole fraction. Next, there is one problem. Okay, so a neon dioxygen mixture contains 70.6 gram dioxygen and 167.5 gram neon. If pressure of the mixture of gases in the cylinder is 25 bar, what is the partial pressure of dioxygen and neon in the mixture? So number of moles of dioxygen, I will write down the solution here. Number of moles of dioxygen is equal to 70.6 they have given dioxygen and divided by 32 gram per mole Next, write down number of moles of neon. Number of moles of neon. Number of moles of neon is equal to 167.5 gram divided by 20 gram per mole. Is equal to 8.375 mole mole fraction of dioxygen mole fraction of 
fraction of dioxygen can be calculated as 2.21 divided by 2.21 plus 8.375 2.21 divided by 10.585 is equal to 0 0.21 then mole fraction of neon can be calculated as mole fraction of neon that can be calculated as 8.375 divided by 2.21 plus 8.375 this is point Seven nine. This is number of moles of neon. Then mole fraction of dioxygen and mole fraction of neon can be calculated. Alternatively, mole fraction of neon. Alternatively, mole fraction of neon is equal to. 1 minus 0.21 we can get 0.79 partial pressure of a gas this is partial pressure of a gas is equal to mole fraction into total pressure This is total pressure so partial pressure is equal to mole fraction you know 0.21 into that is total pressure is 25 bar so we are making 5.25 bar this is for partial pressure of a dioxygen Next is partial pressure of neon is equal to 0.79 into 25 bar is equal to 19.75 bar. Here in that the first we are calculating the number of moles of uh, dioxygen and number of moles of neon after that mole fraction of dioxygen and mole fraction of neon and uh, alternatively we can calculate the mole fraction of the neon by subtracting 1 minus 0.21 then we can calculate the partial pressure of a dioxygen and partial pressure of a neon